Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to fix Roblox account manager so you can play on as many Roblox accounts as you'd like. As you can see here, I currently have four accounts playing the latest Pet Simulator 99 update. You're likely watching this video for one of two reasons. The first one being this error that pops up on your screen every time you try to join a server from Roblox account manager that's been showing up for about the last month or so. The second one is when you go to try to update Roblox account manager, it doesn't actually update and you get this warning from your Windows Defender or any antivirus software telling you that there's a Trojan horse virus on there. Well, I'm here to put your worries to rest. I personally always like to go on the safer side of things rather than the sorry side of things. I'd rather not use something and be on the safe side than to use it and realize that maybe I just compromised my entire PC. But over the last few weeks, a few people mentioned to me that Roblox account manager was actually perfectly safe to use and there were no viruses or breaches detected on their machines even after fixing Roblox account manager. So I decided to find out for myself. So I tried it on my laptop for about two weeks and sure enough, there were no issues. Then I decided, hey, if it works on my laptop, it should work on my PC. And if it works on my PC, then I'll make an update video on how to fix Roblox account manager. Here we are. I've been running this for about two weeks now, just to be double safe here. And I've run it through pretty much any and all virus scanners you can think of to make sure that my PC is perfectly safe. And it is. What was detected was known as a false positive. As you can read here, false positive is something that's just detected as potentially malicious software. But more often than not, it's always a bug in the system. This tends to to happen and it honestly happens with a lot more common apps especially curse forge if you play minecraft with all that being said let's go ahead waste no time and get to fixing roblox account manager here you can see roblox account manager is up in the background i have all my accounts currently listed here and it is working flawlessly and honestly i'm loving my experience with it now step one of this process is a recommendation more than anything else if you currently have an older version of roblox account manager or a bugged version of it that's not letting you join games except through the open browser method which is very tedious i highly recommend recommend you uninstall it rather than just go for checking for updates because when I tried the checking for updates method on both my laptop and my PC I did find inconsistencies with how well the fix actually worked to get me into servers it was constantly actually not allowing me to play multiple accounts at the same time I think it's better to start off with an entirely clean state start from the ground and work our way up so let's go ahead and uninstall Roblox account manager step number two actually has a few steps that you got to go through here so you want to make sure that you're following along as best as you can here first things first we're going to go down here we're going to hit control panel. This is going to open up our Windows control panel that gives us access to everything in our computer. And the next thing that we're going to do is go to system and security. It should bring you to this window here. I'll give you guys a second to catch up. And the third thing you're going to go for is Windows Defender Firewall. Now, the main reason why the application Roblox Account Manager wasn't updating is because the firewall was refusing to let it go through. Obviously, with it detecting a Trojan virus, you would think, oh, it's doing its job. It's protecting my PC. We can actually go through the code of Roblox Account Manager since it is open source on GitHub. And there's nothing malicious about it at all. We're going to go ahead and click turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. Now, don't worry, we're not leaving it off forever. We're only doing it for the installation of Roblox Account Manager, and I'll make sure to close it out by telling you guys and showing you how to turn it back on. Let's go ahead and turn off Windows Defender Firewall. It does say not recommended. Again, this is only temporary. We're going to hit OK to finalize that. And there we go. We do see a Windows security alert saying, hey, all of your stuff is currently now completely unprotected from Windows. That's perfectly fine. We're only going to do this for a short time. I cannot stress this enough. Only do this for Roblox Account Manager. Other applications I cannot vouch for, but I can vouch for Roblox Account Manager. Next up, you're going to go to the link in the description below. This will link you to the GitHub page for Roblox Account Manager. And it does seem kind of confusing right off right because there's a lot of stuff going on. You have a bunch of different files that you could go through. You can actually see the workflow history of the application itself. And there's different things that you can click. But the only thing that you need to worry about is this blue download button right here. So you're going to go ahead and click it. And it, as you can see, it says Roblox Account Manager 3.6.1. One. This is my third time downloading that. We're going to go ahead and bring it up in here. And it is a zipped folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click it and we're going to hit extract all. Now you can put this anywhere you want. I'm just going to put it in my downloads folder. You can put this on your desktop if you'd like, but you don't have to. I'm even going to create a new folder for it called Ram video. This is just my installation for the video. That way I know to get rid of it later on because I don't really need to on my one machine. But after that, we're going to hit extract. It's going to go to that new folder and boom, here we are. Now you're going to double click Roblox account manager and you're going to double click the actual executable here and this should bring you up to it. update is available well we just downloaded it so you want to hit yes just to make sure that you're completely up to date and then once it's done installing it should look like this it should say done create a windows menu shortcut i'm gonna hit no but i would recommend hitting yes just so you don't lose it next we're gonna double click roblox account manager here and it's gonna give us two options on this window you have default encryption which is just a standard 
way to actually use the application but you have password locked and this is one that i personally use so what you're going to do is you're going to just type in a password it can be digits numbers whatever you want personally i use digits and then it's going to ask you to confirm said password once you do that boom you are now in roblox account manager now it's not completely fixed yet there are still a few extra steps you need to do you have roblox account manager working on your pc now but what can you do to fully utilize the software there's actually a few things that i forgot to mention in my first youtube video that i sincerely apologize for going over but it's because i didn't know about these utilities until today first things first if you were completely new to this i'll just show you real quick where to get the game id for whatever game you want to join what you're going to want to do is on a browser go to roblox.com and choose the game that you want to join then you want to make sure that you get the place id which is this number right here in the url so for me it's going to be pet simulator 99 and that is the place id for it and we're going to make sure that the place we want to go to the game we want to play is in this box right here and as you can see once it updates it says pet simulator 99 amazing that's awesome now that we have the destination that we want to go we have to add the accounts in so what you're going to do is hit the add account button it's going to bring up the roblox login i'm going to go ahead and join on my alt accounts here so i'm going to join in on a few of them there's number one there is number two there is number three and boom there is number four now before you can play on all of them all at the same time what you want to do is you want to make sure they hit this settings gear and you want to hit multi roblox on this is a crucial thing that you need to do you need to make sure that multiple roblox is on if you don't have this checked you're not going to be able to play them all at the same time you can also choose to run this on windows startup if you want but i will say that will increase your windows start time anyways with that being checked off you think we're all ready to go but we're going to try to get all of them into the same server and you can actually intentionally do this with one of the tools that roblox account manager has so how to get all of your accounts into the same server you click this utilities button then you're going to take the game id that you have that you want to join and you put it in this box here to the left of username you can also search username if you want but you're just going to focus on the game id hit refresh let it refresh for a minute fill up for the server list and then you're going to hit cancel if you don't hit cancel what it's going to do is just constantly ping for servers and try to find as many as possible that can take up bandwidth on your wi-fi which makes your overall internet much slower so what we're going to do is we're going to just look for one with the best ping and we're going to go with this one right here double click it and it has one player playing it double check to make sure that you are sorting by how many players are in the server it should always sort to the lowest but with that being said you always want to make sure that you're getting it correct anyways once you have that there you see that the job id is now filled in you're just going to select the accounts that you want if you saw that i just clicked one and i held down left shift and i clicked to select all of them you can also hold down left control and just select individual accounts at the same time just to make it a little easier on you once we have that all said and done we're going to hit join server and it may take a moment but it should start loading all of our accounts into the game that we have decided to join as well as specifically the server we're trying to join and here we are we're slowly loading in so they're all stacking on one another as you can see the windows popping up and then resizing down to the bottom left hand corner and take this last one and bring it into the bottom right and with that being said we now currently have all four accounts ready to go they're all finalized and all set to be able to play any game that we want as you can see i can actually move around get them all over to the rng event just to so that way you know they're actually playing the current update at the same time all rolling for the pets in pet simulator 99 but now there's one last step and that is actually turning your firewall back on. So for the time being, we're actually gonna just close all these out because we really don't need them running in the background right now. And this is how you actually turn your Windows firewall on again. So we're gonna go back to control panel, we're gonna go to system security, Windows Defender firewall, turn on Windows Defender firewall and just check those screen shields and hit okay. Boom, you are all done. That's everything that you guys need to know about how to actually install and fix Roblox Account Manager in 2024, as well as in the future 2025. And now you completely miss out on having those errors and you can actually enjoy the events that your games are currently having with as many accounts as you want. So I wish you guys the best of luck. I really do hope that this video helped you and let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel too. It really helps me out a lot. If you did find this helpful, I would appreciate that support right back and again if you guys have any questions be sure to leave a comment down below i'll try to help you guys out as much as i can in the comments down below anyways that's going to be all for this video so i'll see you guys next time later